throughout the ages, text and textiles has always been used as a form of protest. Then there's a whole history throughout the world of people carrying their banners, both as a kind of flag of identity, but also to show solidarity. I think I just want to, um, people to remember the sort of activism and the struggle of Asian women and women of colour. But when you look at the image of Sophia Dalip Singh, she was a lone voice in the 19th century. Some of our clients actually do not have the right of suffrage even now. So it's not a celebration of something that happened in the distant past. It's a kind of a live issue. I believe that uh, art really it's for the brain, it's not for the eyes. You know what I mean? It's really for the brains to help people to make inner transformation. Walking with the banner through Edinburgh almost brings tears to my eyes just to remember it. We walked down the mound and round the corner of the National Gallery. Oh my gosh, it was such an incredible piece of living art to be part of this river of women it really did feel like this journey of women going towards more opportunity. Whenever I see the group, they talk about processions with great pride and they just ask, is there going to be another one? Is there going to be another one? Are we going to do another one like that? Their idea right from the beginning was around wanting to project an image of their own autonomy and power and agency in a time where they feel the huge pressure from social media to conform to body perfect stereotypes. I think people sort of have to know that, uh, so lots of people think women already had the vote, but I think it's important to know that they didn't and that we had to fight for it. All those women but there were also some men there, you know, and men along the sides being with us. That was such a beautiful feeling. I'll never forget it. I'll never forget that day, ever. I see in each of the banners people still picking up on things that we are still fighting for today um, and actually how important it is still. And I think it's wonderful. At the time of making the banner, most women in the group didn't have the right to vote in the UK. Resilience and collectivity became a clear theme. The immensity of what women from refugee backgrounds have to carry and drawing the strength to keep going. In a historic change, people with refugee status will now be able to vote in Scottish Parliament and local council elections as of February 2020. Through processions, the opportunity to to raise awareness of and, and fight for equal rights of refugees, I, I think that this project did that. I think it's like brought back all those feelings of uh, celebration, as well as the not forgetting the struggle, you know, the what women have had to endure in order to achieve the suffrage and are still fighting for today. Today I'm here for the exhibition, so I really, really feel so honoured to be here. So I really feel empowered. Everything here is just beautiful and it just shows me how much women have fought for this day for me. After all of this, I would love to be at the front line on elections day.